Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RJ Runner and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Part 7. Right, we've got Jill in tow, but she doesn't seem to be in the best of condition because she got a little uh, prickly from Nemesis. Despite all the damage she took from zombies, despite getting chunks torn out of her, it was a little needle that took her down. Well, it was, excuse me, it was more than a little needle. But... It was the least of her worries, despite what she's been through before, at least with me behind the wheel. Okay, we've got some assault rifle ammo. Uh, we got our little storage unit here. I uh, don't think I'll deposit anything yet. I have plenty of room, so... Yeah, I'm fine in that regard. Uh, I'll do a bit of exp exploring out here. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. All right, so bear, Baird or Bird is in the lab at the back. Got it. So what? I, oh, first aid spray. Got plenty of those. That's uh, another thing I've noticed about Resident Evil 3 already. I'm not sure if I've said this already, but if I haven't, I'm going to say it again. It's been extremely generous with health pickups and ammunition. More so than Resident Evil 2. I mean, I think it's a little bit too easy, in fact. Oh, hi. I don't got time for this. Oh, yeah, that guy looks a bit hungry. Banging at the snack machine. Well, as long as he do doesn't take chunks out of me, I'm fine. And this guy here, uh, he's got something going on. But not for long. Boop. Here, better, better, better. Swing, better, better, better. <gasps> Get back, better, better, better. Get back. What's the point of pressing the X button if you're gonna get chunks taken out of you any? Uh, what the hell? Get the hell away from me. Same with you. Oh jeez. Oh god. There's too much. Too many. Too many. Bag it up. Are they, going, are they going to come bursting through here now any second? <gasps> He's still there. Okay, they backed up small bit. Alright, you can come back now. Oh yeah! Still not gonna go down. All right, good. Take it nice and handy. Oh, and down he goes for the count. Just make sure you're down. Yeah, you're down. And so are you. Oh, and there's a. Is this a door back here? Ah, it's locked. Oh. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. And you did a bang up job. Well done, Umbrella. You couldn't have made it a safer place, no. No, didn't think so. Oh, hi, Karen. Or Lucy. I'm not sure what to call you. Are you a Karen or, or Lucy? Or maybe an Elizabeth, who knows? Well, I'll just call you Lucy for now. Get back, Lucy! <gasps> Stop taking chunks out of my man meat! The only one who can do that is Jill. Is her name Jill? No, it's not Jill. Oh, Jesus Christ, not again. Oh, you gotta stay down this time. Jesus Christ, I didn't anticipate things to go south so fast. Wait. Oh. Ready for round three? Oh, of course you are. Yeah, don't bother getting back up from that now. What about you, good sir? Hmm. 
need a bullet for your troubles? No, I'm just gonna stand back and see. Oh, I just woke him up. I'm sorry. Allow me to put you down permanently. Jesus, get away. Okay, that was way too close. But... Breaking Lucy again. God damn you, would you stay down, woman? Love can't exist between the living and the dead. It's impossible. Oh, I woke you up. Whoopsies. Oopsies, oopsies. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to. Oh. Jesus Christ, get away. Stay down. What about you, Lucy Lou? Yeah, you're definitely dead. Okay, don't bother me for the next five minutes, please, zombies. Just give me a bit of a... Is that Mr. X's hat? Was well, Mr. X a patient here? He probably was. Did he come from this area? Would not surprise me. Okay, so a lot of these unlockables are for Jill because she's the master of unlocking. She has all the stuff. All the equipment, all the stuff that need, that can be on. She, she has lock picks. She has um, bolt cutters, I think. I hope I didn't uh, get rid of that. Oh, lovely. Even more bodies. Wait, can I get in there? I probably can, but not from this side. Right, will do after I play this tape player. Wait. Hold on, let me see. Oh, there's nothing in it to play. Oh, okay. I suppose it makes sense. Can't turn this on, no. Put on the box for a bit of news. No. Nurse's Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium. So we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not the only thing that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? Good question. Uh, probably to be answered, uh, you know, TBC. To be continued. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Uh, no, the Resident Evil kind? You can't knock, no? No? Knocky knocky, slashy slashy! Okay, guess we have to go on all this way then. Oh, what's this? Oh, green herb. Don't I have a red herb to go with that? I do. Here we go, combine. Boom. Still pretty okay on the health front. Oh, hi. And there are a lot of these zomboids here. Lovely jubbly. Um, okay. Guess we're doing this. Get back, Dubby. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Get away from me. I ain't a tasty snack. Not in that sense, anyway. Oh, Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh! Oh god, oh Jesus Christ. Things went so far south so far quick. So far quick, what the hell? I mean, things went so far south 
so quickly. Okay, Tubby's back over there. Okay, that's taking him down. Looking back up, Arnold. Thank you. What about you now? Oh yeah, you're pretty much alive, aren't you? Get down! Oh, get off! Frickin' clown! Run, Colonels! Do it? Probably did. You dead? Oh, not quite. No. Jesus. Uh, I mean, I know Carlos is a bit of a tasty treat, but god damn, you're taking it too literally. Okay, yeah, you're definitely dead now. What about you? Yeah, definitely dead. So are you. Oh, that's definitely going to break. Unless... Oh, it's bulletproof. Okay. Well, we know it's dirty. Yeah, back. And I don't have a card key for that. Okay, keep my distance. And I'm on caution. Brilliant. Okay, now what nightmares lurk beyond here? Oh, this is so ominous. And I think my headset is about to die. Everywhere's locked, man. Ooh. Okay. That's not that scary. I mean, it's dead, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's dead. surprises up here oh hell no okay, terrible things went on here don't you try and freaking hide from me That thing is definitely still alive. Whoop. Not anymore. Oh, again, it's getting way too quiet. And me no likey. Not one bit. Not one damn bit. Yeah, just gonna go down here. He seems the safest route. Doesn't look like that there's any blood. 
No blood, no problem. Oh, staff room. Sweet, so we got handgun bullets. Probably got a shit ton of notes as well, yes. Nurses Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibited severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs of hyperphagia? Did I pronounce that right? Hyperphagia? Maybe? Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Yeah, how well did that go? Not so well? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, gonna take the screen herb. Come on over this. Boom, there we go. Take out my other red herb in here as well. Boom. And of course, do another save. Boom. And assault rifle ammo. And yeah, that's about everything here, I think. Yeah. That's everything. Okay, we can take this map now. But again, it seems to be pretty straightforward, pretty linear. Okay, and hell no. I'm gonna go back down this way and see what's what. Oh, lovely. What the hell? Oh, I can jump down here. I didn't know that. How do I get back up? That's the thing now. Oh, I can hop over. Oh, a key! Uh, a key for what? Locker room key. Ah, okay. That'll be useful. And another green herb. And boom. Damn. I have all the health going on today now. I'll be fit as a fiddle. Ah, I see. Wait. Did I miss something over here? I probably did. Unless there's another entrance or exit. No, I, I, I don't think so. I can't hop back over. No, and there's a bush blocking that area. Oh, God. I, I don't feel too bad about that now. Okay, that's unlocked. Assault rifle ammo. See, I think some of these areas are optional, and unless you double check yourself, you won't, you won't know. Oh yeah. Back downstairs again. Wait, excuse me? Oh, he's still a banging. Ah, well, I'll let, it, let him do him, and I'll do me. Okay, more assault rifle ammo. Ah, and that's where I can jump out the other side. Oh, okay. That's locked. Hey, what's here? Oh. It's where I just came from. Oh, whoa, 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 I almost forgot this. Thank God I always double check my areas. Jeez. I didn't even just double check that area, I triple checked. 
again exploration is key don't doubt yourself if you think you haven't searched if you think you haven't searched an area thoroughly don't be afraid to go back and do it again okay so what's beyond this door now oh reception do I even want to know what's going to barge in there I got a feeling I don't want to know. And this guy is definitely dead. Oh boy. They're all a banging. Okay. Note about tape recording. Dakota. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't know how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and he will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. Refrain. Ah, uh, so Dr. B, Dr. Beard is a bit of an asshole. Oh, ha 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 ha, howdy ho, guys. Get away. You up next, buddy? Of course, there are plenty of bullets for you. There you go. And, you know what? I won't even waste my assault rifle on you. You're not worth it. Not one bit. And down you go. And a bit of a savvy step for the road. Oh, Jesus. Oh, down you go. Same for you. Yeah, take that, Jubbles Wart. Again, I don't have to code for save yet. And I doubt it's going to be written down here. Probably on a note. Oh, even more guys. Lovely. Again, more munition. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay, a grenade. Good for crowd dispersal. Oh, and of course you're not dead. Get down. Don't test me. Oh! Just got Carlos, bitch. Christ, oh my. Things aren't looking good. So I'll just use this. <gasps> oh no. Oh, you sound angry. And now you sound dead. Because there's peace and quiet now. And I thought I heard a bobblehead. Ah, there you are. Sneaky. Okay, let's just do another thorough search here. No notes, no nothing. No, nothing. Okay, we're good. We can't get back there without a key card. Okay, I guess we're pretty much done in this area. This is gonna be fun and a bun. Uh, 
Oh, all sorts of nasty shit went down here. <sighs> Why do I get the feeling I'll be needing my grenade? Hey buddy, you alright? You're not going to do the zombie shuffle? Okay, good. You can stay down there. Party pooper. Same with you. Oh, no. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now. Dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it will be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm sorry, I failed you. Something's coming. Help m And he died. <gasps> Or liquors or crimson reds whatever they're called oh no I thought that was the end of them in the freaking police station ah oh, jeez okay well nothing else will be done about it just do some more exploring here check every desk every nook every cranny ah yes here's another note Memos for administration. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Administration, September 20th. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. I and my headset died. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration by the end of your shift to borrow it. Administration, September 24th, and I must charge my headset now. Okay, how good am I on ammo? I'm fine. I've got plenty of ammo for the assault rifle. None to spare for the handgun, though. Okay. So this is a safe haven here. Well, it could have been if someone didn't drop the key. Okay, nothing in there. Wait, hold on. Note? No. Under the hat. Flash grenade. <gasps> Ooh, so much for being a safe haven. Okay, he dead. Ah, hospital ID card. Name John Ralph, orthopedic doctor. Okay, I'll be taking your identity now. Getting up to all sorts of shenanigans. Okay, stay locked and loaded. Because a clicker is going to come, or not a clicker, a liquor is going to come bursting through some door now any minute. That's what happens when you pick up key items. Uh, no pun intended. Oh boy. Me no likey.
Oh, get flashed. Oh. Well, at least I know they're, they're not uh, liquors or crimson heads. Oh, get right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ Almighty. Oh, yeah. Back it up, buddy. Shit. Oh. Oh yeah, that's it. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Jesus Christ is fucking right, man. I can took almost all my ammo just to take care of him. Hope that's the only one. Uh, just go in here, do another quick save. Well, first I check my uh, inventory. Uh, it's, it's it's fine. I don't need this key anymore. Now, suppose I can actually take out the first aid spray now, just in case. Better to have it not need it, and need it not have it. Oh, there's another one of those fuckers in there. These things were the worst in Resident Evil 1 on the PS1. I could never kill them. I could never get by them. Okay, let's do this thing. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus. Two. Two. I could barely deal with one. How on earth am I going to deal with two? Please don't tell me you have to go in there. Sarah Marshall get back. Get off. You did? Okay, good. Get more salt ammo. That's supposed to be the drawn chorus of my death. <gasps> and I'm practically all out of handgun ammo, thanks to you. Hope you feel happy. Reckon Sarah Murph will get back down. Oh! Well, you won't be getting back up again anytime soon. Thank you. Wait, maybe. Oh, 
No! No thanks! He's not dead, is he? Please tell me you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, now I can take care of the other guy. I can try to at least. Oh, there he is. He doesn't suspect the thing just yet. Hey, buddy! Get flashed! Nice one, Carlos. Do it again. Oh, get in fucking wreck here, lad. Oh, please, anybody can just punch him to death. Nah, yeah, probably can't. Oh shit, I should probably, yeah, use one of these. Oh, shit. oh my god, I'm almost out of ammo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, got his down, and... I'm up shit's creek without a paddling early enough. Ooh, audio cassette tape. And you're not gonna give me ammo for my troubles? No? Ready? Oh, yeah, more. Thank Christ. Uh, and there's nothing else here. No. Just double check it. And you're definitely dead. Yeah. Yeah, okay, listen to that audio cassette now. Oh, I know what I have to do with this. I have to use it at the uh, door for Dr. What's his faces? Okay. Okay, and yeah, that about does it for here. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Get away! I just gotta make a run for it. Because I cannot deal. Not now, not ever. Was there a door over here that needed a key card? Well, I kind of want to check, but I'm a bit jumpy about it. No, that's where I came from. That's step only. Okay, now. Uh, oh. No, 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 hell no. This is the only ammo I have on me. Believe me, I ain't wasting on you. That's not gonna hold now, is it? No, no. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm screwed on ammo. Get 
drauf. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, how many? There's, there's at least five, I think. And I just can't deal. I can't deal and I won't deal. No way. Not a hope in hell. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Ah, very charming, ain't he? What a douche. Exactly. Okay, now let's see if I can do anything about my ammo situation. Okay, I'll just let them sit there. I'll see what's out this way first. Maybe salvation? Well, definitely... Well, definitely a bigger place to work around. Okay, handgun ammo, sweet. Oh, yes, more sound rifle ammo, thank you. Just what I needed. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, yes, this is what I needed. This is what I needed to deal with these zombos in the first place. Wait, what? What's this? Um, RE lost items. To all employees, we've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and it's unclear who belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it in the nurse station safe. The safe combination is 9 clockwise, 3 counterclockwise. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, back upstairs again. I, mean, I suppose if I have to. Yeah, I'll just just flash these guys. Oh, down you go. Same with you, buddy. No! I can barely brush past these guys. I want to. Okay, no. I'll just grenade him. Boop! Should have done that the first time around. Okay, what else? Oh, another locked locker. Lovely. Okay, combine and use my green herb and I'll go back upstairs where the liquor is or where the green goblin is and I'll take care of him. All it takes is one grenade, right? Yeah, one grenade should do. Boop! Yeah, good night, buddy. Hopefully now that's all of them. So what, what was it? Nine counterclockwise, three counterclockwise? Yeah, that's right. Whoops. Nine. 
factory. Oh, you like this. Ah, so we can hold more ammo. Sweet. Now, let's see what Mr. Brad or Bear Douche Canoe has to say. Wait, where'd he go? Don't tell me he did a runner. Banquet Invitation Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Major Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Oh, Brian Irons, that was the um, dude that we splashed acid on in Resident Evil 2. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6pm, the Orient Restaurant Hotel. The Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honoured if you'd join us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handed note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Ugh. I do not approve. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Oh, I bet. <sighs> I freaking bet it was. What's his name? Nikolai. Freaking asshole. Why'd you do that now? That. Email from Nathaniel Bard To Greg Tester Reply immediately Greg, I know you're watching the news The virus is going to devour the whole country The dead will wash over Capitol Hill Like a tidal wave You're not safe However, you've always been a good friend to me So I'd like to offer you a way out I have in my possession One dose of a vaccine for the virus The Holy Grail and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chest after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... I got you all along. She trusted me anyway. Fuck! Oh, well, that was super handy. Is it here? Yes, no, maybe so, possibly, hopefully. 
Oh, chili. Vaccine sample. Yes. Got it. Okay, right, give sure. Jill the vaccine. Uh, why do I get the feeling that once I leave this room, I'm going to be doing battle with someone or something? It's probably going to be Team, what? I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. It'll be a miracle if I make it out of out here alive in one piece. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Son of a bitch, you're going down. You're getting flashed. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, my fuse of feet. Uh, I'll use the green one. Oh, you want to play rough? I'll show you rough. playing nice oh god get that right oh I am screwed up wait what is this, is this where I want to be yeah it is I think so. Although I'd rather not be in as as bad a shape as I'm in now. Because one more hit and I'm dead. Okay, there's no way out there, is there? Not to my knowledge. Maybe Jill gets out there and, and unlocks that briefcase, probably. Yeah, that's... That sounds about right. Oh, please don't let there be another one. Please, for the love of Barry, don't let there be another one. Okay, no. We're good. Mostly good. All right. Ah, uh, shit. My uh, phone died. Nice. Lovely. Well, it doesn't matter. I was just about to end the video here Any anyway. That, and I've recorded four videos today anyway, so I have enough editing to do. So these four videos will go up over the period of four days, hopefully, probably. And uh, depending whether or not I pass this today, I may have Final Fantasy VII coming up as w well on the channel. Who knows? Because I got Final Fantasy today in the post because, you know, Square Enix shipped it out early because of the Corona time and whatnot. So, yeah, everything's coming up rubby today. Go me. Anyway, guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, favorite, share with your friends, and, of course, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.